Auburn University's Crayer Preserve and Nature Center is home to birds. From the casual birder to the researcher, this is a wonderful place for enjoying and learning about birds. Bird watching and birding are among the fastest growing outdoor activities in the United States. There are about 60 million bird watchers and birders who spend approximately $40 billion annually on travel and equipment associated with birding. Hi, I'm Lou Scharf, a lifelong birder and a member of the Crayer Preserve Advisory Board. I'd like to take you on a brief tour through this wonderful facility right here in Auburn, Alabama. Although it may sound a bit pedantic, there is a difference between bird watching and birding. Bird watchers look at birds, whereas birders look for birds. Bird watchers are typically more passive by watching birds at feeders or from observation booths. They watch whatever shows up at their side of observation. Birders, on the other hand, are more active and often will walk or travel long distances to find birds. Then there are the folks that quietly study birds with a bird book or a smartphone app in their hands. So whether you are a bird watcher, birder, or just have a casual interest in birds, the Crayer Preserve and Nature Center is the place for you. The Crayer Preserve was recently designated as an official site on the Alabama Birding Trail system as a part of the Piedmont Valley Trail. This designation was recognized in an event where the mayor of Auburn, Alabama, Bill Hamm, and other officials reaffirmed the city's support for the preserve's programs. The preserve is a 120-acre tract just north of Auburn which comprises seven natural habitats. It is located at, uh, in the 2000 block of North College Street in Auburn. It is open to the public and features a number of amenities, including a picnic area, a pavilion, restrooms, drinking fountains, boardwalks, and parking areas. It encompasses a number of natural bird habitats and welcomes its visitors to a very user-friendly environment. It has six miles of well-marked trails and efforts are underway to connect specific bird sightings with preserved locations. Some of the trails are specifically designed for birding. The habitat types found in the preserve include pine, oak hickory woodlands, bottomland hardwoods, and mixed pine hardwoods. As a part of the Saugahatchee Creek watershed, birders will also find a stream, waterfall, pond, and wetland areas. During the year, these habitats typically attract approximately 80 different species of birds which was reported in a study conducted by the Auburn University School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences. Waterfowl, shorebirds, songbirds, raptors, and game birds can typically be seen during all four seasons of the year. Wading birds can usually be spotted in the summer and fall. The habitats also host a number of migratory bird species in the spring and fall, such as warblers, tanagers, and grosbeaks. I'd now like to lead you on a brief virtual bird walk, if you will, into the preserve to observe some of the more common birds sighted and photographed over the past year or so. The individual species will be presented in groups with their voices presented in the accompanying audios. The perching birds of the preserve have the greatest variety. The preserve provides feeding stations and nesting boxes to draw these types of birds into the area. A number of breeding pairs of several species are typically present.
The preserve presents excellent opportunities to observe various species of raptors, including eagles, hawks, owls, and vultures. One of several educational kiosks features a wingspan comparison and identification tips for several species of raptors. Nesting bald eagles are present on nearby Auburn University properties and these birds frequently fly over and into the preserve. This gives our visitors a wonderful opportunity to personally observe these magnificent national birds. Three owl species can often be observed at the preserve, including great horned, barred, and screech owls. Look at look in his eyes. Both turkey and black vultures are in abundance, and this black vulture flew into within 10 feet of me on the pond dam. Both mourning and ringneck doves can be observed, although the latter are less frequent. Old, dead, and decaying trees in the preserve present an excellent habitat for woodpeckers. Downy and red-bellied woodpeckers are commonly seen throughout the year, and red-headed woodpeckers, yellow-bellied sapsuckers, and northern flickers are seen on occasion. The butterfly garden contains a number of flowers frequented by both butterflies and hummingbirds during the summer months. Hummingbird feeders also attract hummers beginning in mid-March through about mid-October. The abundance of water in the preserve in the form of a pond, stream, marshes, and a waterfall provide habitat for various waterfowl and wading birds, such as herons and sandpipers. During the past year, Great blue herons have established a rookery with seven nests counted in 2018. This rookery is located in properties adjacent to the preserve, but these birds frequently fly over and into uh, the area. The preserve is operated under the capable direction of Jennifer Lolly, Outreach Administrator, and Dr. Janaki Alavalapati, Dean of the School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences of Auburn University. The preserve is open from sunrise to sunset, where one can enjoy the beauty of the sky as well as the birds. Whether a birding novice or a seasoned expert, we invite you to come out to the preserve and experience the sights and sounds of these beautiful creatures. You won't be disappointed. <laughs>